Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally gonna bust out my serger and I'm gonna play around with it tonight. Um, this is like my first project that I'm gonna be making, but I'm gonna be making some really cute bell bottoms. Now, I don't know if mine are gonna come out cute, but from the pictures I saw from the pattern, they're adorable. So um, I'll make sure and link down below the pattern that I got. Um, it was only eight bucks and it comes with baby sizes all the way up to kid sizes. So also I wanna let you guys know that this is my first time actually making anything on my serger. So this isn't gonna be too much of a tutorial. I am gonna show you the process of me doing it. If you guys want to see like a true tutorial video, I'll make sure and leave her video linked down below. Her video was very helpful. I'll probably end up watching the video while I'm trying to make these, um, just kind of as a refresher. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys the stuff that I'm going to be using and the machine that I'll be using. Also, um, I'm in my pajamas. I don't have any makeup on. I'm you guys can tell already, but it's midnight right now and I didn't feel like getting all dolled up to record a video, so we're just going to hang out and do some sewing. Also guys, um, the reason why I haven't gone live for like two weeks now, maybe a week and a half, I've been so extremely busy with Etsy orders and eBay orders and I'm also trying to open up two other Etsy shops as well, so I've been super, super, super busy. And because I've been so busy, I've been super exhausted. I don't want to push myself too much because I am already doing a lot. But basically, that's why I haven't gone live the last like week and a half. But anyways, I always ramble. That's just what I do. But let me show you guys the materials I'll be using. Okay, so this pattern only has four pieces, but two of the pieces you have to cut double the amount of fabric. So I'm using this it's called Liverpool bullet fabric it's kind of like a knit I guess um, so I'm gonna be using this I'm gonna be doing a whole whole birthday outfit for like a donut themed so I'm gonna be doing a matching shirt to go with it not with this fabric but with um, with like a donut themed shirt um, I'm gonna be doing it with embroidery and with HTV so I can give my customers two options um, but this is going to be, I believe, for the front. And then my other pieces. Um, this is going to be for the waistband. And I've seen some patterns, not patterns, but I've seen some designs where they actually do like a different color for the waistband. I'm just going to do everything one color or one type of print. And then this is, I believe, the back of the pants. So I have that. And then I actually have like the bell bottom portion. I'm nervous about this part, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm excited to see how these turned out. I love, love how these bell bottoms like look on like little girls. They're just so cute. I wish they had an adult size because I would totally rock these. But anyways, Let's go ahead and let's head over to my serger. Okay, so the machine that I'm gonna be using tonight is a Brother um, 1034DX. I got this off um, walmart.com and I got it for $1.99. It's, I got it for a pretty good deal. Um, I don't know like how good of a machine it is, but I noticed that a lot of people, especially some YouTubers, they love this machine and they haven't had any complaints, so. For the price, I thought it was a really good deal, so that's why I got it. I just want to thank you guys when I did my unboxing video. A lot of you left a lot of good tips for me because I am a noob when it comes to using a serger. So thank you guys so much for being extremely helpful and kind of teaching me a little bit about this machine. I actually ended up keeping the manual out. This actually has came in quite handy. so. Um, definitely don't throw your manual away or I would keep it in a safe spot because this has actually came in handy. Okay guys, so I have my first piece. Um, I already tr attempted this and I already messed up so I'm redoing it so I have to re film or refilm this whole section again. I'm gonna go ahead and use clips to help hold my fabric in place so it doesn't shift around a lot. Um, and so this is, I believe, the front of the leggings. 
Um, so I'm going to sew basically right here in the where the curve is. I'm basically going to sew that. Sew these two pieces together. Hopefully I get it right this time. Again guys, this is not a tutorial because I'm still new to all this. Basically I'm just showing you guys my trial and errors um, using my surgery for the first time and attempting to do a pattern like this for the very first time. So if you want a good tutorial, I'm going to make sure and link that video down below. So if you guys want to learn how to make these, you can go watch that video because I'm too big of a noob to be able to teach you guys. So this whole like extra string thing is really new to me because you know you don't have to do that with you know a sewing machine so I always have to remember to leave a little bit of extra thread. Messed up again. Messed up again guys. So <laughs> I messed up again. So this piece this piece right here, I guess I wasn't supposed to surge. I misunderstood her part in the video. She basically was saying that you're going to sew this part and you're going to do the same thing for the other piece. And I thought she meant for the other side. So I need to go cut fabric again. This is my third time. Third time, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So luckily I sell this... Um, sprinkle bullet fabric so I get this fabric at a really good cost so you know all this fabric I waste at least I didn't spend like full price for it because that would have totally sucked okay so now I'm just basically gonna have this pattern right in front of me I thought I could do it by memorization but apparently apparently not okay okay guys wish me luck hopefully I get it right this time other piece. I'm just going to go ahead and leave um, the piece that I just sewn attached to that little extra shred thing. I don't even know what to call it guys. I'm so sorry. If you're trying to watch this to learn something, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't try and like go live and do this. You guys would have really... um. <laughs> <laughs> would have been real confused if you've never seen this before. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, now let's look at the pattern and see what I have to do next. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And it should look like this. Okay, so I think I definitely did it right because now I see like the little legs portion. So now I'm gonna take the front and the back and I'm going to pin them again. And I'm going to sew along the outside of one side and then sew along this side as well. But I must say, I definitely like how fast this machine um, sews. Like if I were to do this on my sewing machine, I feel like it would take a lot longer. But like I said earlier, you could totally do this on your regular sewing machine. All you would have to do is use a zigzag stitch um, because you want um, a stitch that would be able to withstand being stretched because you don't want the threads to break. So using a zigzag, zigzag stitch would help with that. So my husband's attempting to make a hat don't tell me We're not a hat, but he's attempting to put a patch on a hat. Don't tell me anything, I don't know if I'm being 
So, and it sounds like it's not going too well. But guys, um, I'm super proud of my hubby. He actually just got his first like digitizing order and the customer, and you all know her, um, the customer said he did really good. So um, I'm super proud of nice. him. She's really nice, okay. but um, he did a good job. Also, if you guys notice that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know down in the comments below. So now the pattern um, wants me to sew, or let me show you guys. So here is the front and here is the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew the inside of the legs. I've been noticing a lot of you guys have actually been getting um, sergers, so I'm excited to see everything that you guys are going to make. Um, if you haven't already, uh, make sure to join my Discord. So you can share everything that you're working on um, to help inspire and to motivate everyone else. And then other people post what they're working on and it's pretty cool to see what everyone is doing and how everyone puts their own little twist on everything. So definitely go join my Discord if you haven't yet. guys so it was going good and then when I got to the crotch it like totally took a chunk out and then the threads got all messed up. There's a blade. I did that right at all. Oh, actually, I think I fixed it. You can't even tell. But this is what it looks like so far. Down in the comments, um, how do you guys sew the inside of like the legs part um, so that the seams match up and all that stuff? Did I do did I do that step right? I don't know. Um, so now it wants us to sew on the bell bottoms part, which I'm excited about, and a little nervous at the same time. Um, now in the patterns, it doesn't say what to do with these extra little pieces of thread. I know I've watched Amber, um, being in Bliss, she likes to sew this little extra part into like the seam, I guess you would say. Um, so I don't know if I'm supposed to cut these off or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these off. This pair I'm not going to sell because it's my first try, so I'm not too worried about if it's like perf perfect or not. Um, okay, so now the next part of the pattern, it says to pin 
this circular part. That's like one giant donut. <laughs> Pin this circular part um, to the bottom portion of the leg and you're gonna do right sides together. What I'm really worried about is doing the belt portion of um, this design. I watched the tutorial, or I watched a video, and it seems quite difficult to get that belt on, so hopefully I can do it correctly. Okay, let me double check these directions. Oh no, guys, I'm so nervous. <laughs> so this machine is a lot louder than my uh, sewing machine. I would say it's probably even louder than my embroidery machine. So it might be a little intimidating for some. Okay, I think I did it. It looks right. Right. Oh. You see that? He did it. That was hecka quick. Hecka fast. That's okay. it? Wait, so you put the other one on and you're done. I have to do the belt belt still. The belt still. But, oh my god. I tried those on. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Oh my god, I did it. He did it. Hopefully I don't mess up this one. Guys, once I get this down, I feel like these leg, not leggings, but these bell bottoms are going to be a really fast stitch out and I'll be able to bust out a ton of these so i just got really excited guys these are so cute it makes me want a little girl so bad like i'm tempted to <laughs> no don't judge me i'm tempted to put jackson or mason in these just to see like how they fit because i don't have a girl and i have one friend that has a little girl but um i don't know if bell bottoms are her style or not but i kind of want to like just try them on just to see what they look like on them but I don't want to like embarrass them one day maybe I Mason should take the rock them <laughs> Mason look so cute with them. yeah I don't think this anyone who judge you is tripping so I wouldn't even take um why would they judge you I don't know I just want to see what the, how they look and honestly I have such pretty boys they probably would look really cute in them down in the comments below for people who don't have like a little girl but make little girl items, um, have you ever tried them on like your son or something just to see how it fits? Guys, if you haven't, go subscribe to Ready Hustle. I'll link his channel below. He's like moping right now because he hasn't gotten any views in two hours. Two hours for him. That's my first shout out from Nita Fijita. So um, now like I'm trying to put this into underneath like the needle or whatever and the fabric keeps shifting. So with this fabric I would definitely um, pause and check and make sure that the fabric is aligned because it does shift quite a bit. pretty good I do have one like little I can't really tell on the camera I messed up a little bit right there it's a little bit of um, bunching up but oh my gosh these are so cute and the nice thing about using bullet fabric or like a stretchy knit fabric is like the bottom of it you won't have to finish it off with like a, not a seam but um you basically won't have to finish it off because this won't fray at all. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the waistband. This is the part where I'm a little nervous. Um, it says to take um, the short edges, so this edge, and pin them together, right sides together. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew along that edge. Mm -hmm. 
so now it says to flip the waistband so the raw edges are on one side and fold the other with the wrong sides. What? Hold on guys, I need to pull out my phone and watch this video really fast. This is so confusing. I knew the waistband part was gonna be difficult for me. Okay, so I feel like the girl in this video did it different from the directions, or I could be just wrong. Okay, so she definitely used a different method. Now I know for next time I'm gonna use her method. Okay, so the next thing um, that she did, it doesn't mention to do this. Um, it says to use pins, but she basically just used a little pair of scissors and just snipped a little bit of the corners because we're gonna use that little snip to be able to help us line up this waistband to the actual pants. Because I believe on the waistband there are four seams. So basically you're just going to match um, the two seams together and then those two little cuts I just made, they'll line up right here. Okay, so I actually have this. I actually have this wrong. I need to undo it and have it going the right sides out. So like I said earlier guys, this is definitely not a tutorial. It's basically just a video of me struggling, but I uh, hope you guys still enjoy this video. Even with all my issues that I had with this project, um, definitely, definitely I'm in love with this serger and I can't wait to make many, many more things. Um, I plan on making these bell bottoms as like a birthday set. So I wanna do a matching shirt, but I also wanna do matching headbands. So I'm gonna be watching a bunch of Amber's or Bam Bliss's videos on how to make um, headbands, especially the knot ones. I think those would look really cute um, with this outfit. So basically what I did is I matched up this back seam with the back of the pants. We'll be right back guys. Okay guys, so I have the waistband pinned. So basically this seam from the waistband, I have it lined up with the back part of the, um, the bell bottoms and then the little snips that I did on the, sign, on the sides, I lined them up with um, the seams on the side of the bell bottoms. Um, I did the raw edges. Um, next to the raw edge um, so the person will be able to flip the belt up or they can flip it down depending on how they would like it so now I'm basically just going to sew along all these raw edges and just really try and make sure to keep the fabric aligned you could probably throw in some extra pins if you're worried about the fabric getting shifted um, but I think I think I got this down And just make sure to stop and adjust um, your fabric as needed. Final reveal, let's see if I got it all right. Okay, so my seams are like not perfectly matched up, but it doesn't look too bad. But I love how these turned out. Let me go lay them down for you guys so you can have a better view. Okay guys, so this is the final look of my sprinkles bell bottoms. I really wish I had a mannequin for you guys so you could actually see what they look like tried on. Um, definitely buying a mannequin is n probably gonna be in the near future because I wanna be able to showcase these the best that I can. Since I don't have a little girl to try them on, I'm gonna have to get like a mannequin. But I am super, super impressed 
with how these turned out. These are so, so stinking cute. Um, if you're interested though in this sprinkles fabric, I do offer it on my Etsy and in my eBay shop. I have both of those um, linked down below. So if you're wanting some good knit fabric, um, definitely go check it out. But I love, love, love how these turned out. Okay guys, so that's basically gonna be it for tonight. I am gonna be making um, a whole birthday outfit to match these sprinkle bell bottom pants, um, but I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna be making a shirt and a matching headband as well, so make sure to keep a lookout for that video. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so when I do release that video, you will not miss out. I'm also gonna link down below my husband's YouTube channel. He focuses on embroidery as well, but he also focuses on digitizing too. So if you're wanting to learn how to digitize, definitely go check his YouTube out. Um, and then I'm also gonna be doing a big unboxing. Um, I placed a big AJ Blanks order. Um, for some new blanks because I do I do plan on um, embroidering on some of those shirts so make sure like I said to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content that's coming out um, if you like this video and if you would like to see more surging videos or if you would like to see like a more detailed description on how to make be um, these bell bottoms make sure to hit that like button and down in the comments below let me know um, what other things would you like me to make with my serger? Um, and then also if you have any tips on how to um, do like the inside of the pants, um, make sure and leave me some comments down below and any tips that you have for using a serger. But that is everything for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh.